In this tutorial, I'm going to give you an introduction into the VLOOKUP function in Excel. I'm going to tell you what it is, and how to use it, and how it can help save you time. So, I'm going to give you two examples also. I'm going to give you what is basically a standard how to look up grades for students example. And then I'm also going to show you how to use it to find employee information by searching for the last name only. So let me go ahead and explain what the VLOOKUP function actually is. What it stands for is Vertical Lookup. And what it's going to do is look up data in columns. So it's going to go up and down particular columns to search for data. And how it works is you select a table. So you select a certain number of rows and columns, say these three columns and ten rows. And what you're going to do is you're going to look up one value and it's going to find a corresponding value to the right. So let me explain. You're going to search for a value in the left column and it's going to go up and down the column. So say you search for Davis. It's going to find Davis and then it's going to go however many columns you tell it to to the right to give you Tom and to tell you that he is an analyst. Now the value that you look up to find the other values in the same row is always going to be on the far left column of the table array. It's kind of confusing but the gist of it is that if you have a large number of data all in rows and it's all organized correctly if you find the correct value in the far left column you can get a series of other values that correspond to it in the right column. So let me go ahead and show you an example of how it works and it might explain it a little bit better. What I want to do here is I want to type the last name in this cell and I want to have it find that last name here and then go to the right and give me the first name for this cell. So in the first name cell I need a VLOOKUP function. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. and I want to put a VLOOKUP function right here. So that simply equals VLOOKUP open parentheses. Now the first thing I put in is my lookup value. What you can type in here is you can actually type in a value so I could type in a specific last name or I can use a cell and type something in that cell. Now note if you do type in a word here you're going to have to surround it with quotation marks. So if I type in a last name, I have to put quotation marks around it or it won't work. But here I want to use this cell. So my lookup value will be this cell for the last name. Now comma. The next thing is the table array. So that's what I was explaining with the table. And this is where your data is going to come from. So the table array, I want to select everything with the last name, first name, all of this stuff for all of the employees and that's my table array so let me explain it now this is my table array and this is the lookup value the last name the lookup value is always going to look up in the leftmost column of the table array so this is the leftmost column of the table array and this is the value this is the lookup value. So whatever I type in here is going to search in the leftmost column. Now I don't have to have the last name thing above where I have the last name here. That's just coincidence. But no, it'll always look up in the left hand column. The next thing that I want to put in the VLOOKUP formula is the column index. So after my table array I'm going to put a comma. Now I want the column index and what that is is it's the number of columns to the right of the leftmost column in the table array. So the leftmost column in the table array is column 1. Then it goes column 2, 3, and so on. Now I want to get the first name and the first name is in column 2 so I'm going to put a 2 there. 
the next thing that you can put in, so comma, is the range lookup. And you can either leave it blank or you can type in true or false. If you leave it blank, it's going to default to true. Now, what that means, if I type in false, the VLOOKUP is going to look for exactly what I typed in. If I put true, it's going to look for an estimate of what I put in and go with the value closest to what I entered, but below that. It's a little bit confusing, but the point is here, I want to look up last names. I don't want an approximate, so I'm going to put false. On the next tab, I'll show you how to use true. So now I'm going to hit enter, and you see NA. If you type in false and there is no value or it can't find the value, then it's going to give you NA. So let's give an example here. Let's look up Davis. I'm going to type in Davis, enter, and then we get his name. So what the V lookup did here is this it had Davis. It searched in the leftmost column of the table array for Davis. It found it here. It went to the second column in the table array here, and it got the name Tom. And then it put that name up here. So that's how the VLOOKUP worked. So let me go ahead and show you one more example to try and get the hang of this. I already entered the VLOOKUP here, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that and redo it. So we want equals v lookup. Open parentheses, the lookup value, I want to search by last name, the table array, I want to search all of this employee data. The column index is going to now be three because I want to search in the job column. So we go column one, column two, column three. And for the range lookup, I want false because I want to get the exact value. Close parentheses. Now you'll notice for the first name, the column index was two, not three. And that's because it was the second column. So that's the only difference here. Hit enter and we find out Tom Davis is an analyst. So that's how you can use the VLOOKUP function to get a list of data from an employee by just typing in the last name. So let me go ahead and zoom out real quick and instead of Davis let's do Gillis. Enter and you see it all changes. Caitlin, secretary, got the email. So that's how the VLOOKUP function can work here for finding employee data. And it can be a little confusing, especially the first time you do it, but once you get the hang of using the VLOOKUP function, it's not too bad. And this was a basic introduction to how you can use it. It can get much more complicated. But right now, let's go ahead and show you the example of how to use the VLOOKUP function when you're searching for grades. And on YouTube now, I do have to break the video because it's going to be too long. So this ends the first example of the VLOOKUP, and the second one's just going to be labeled part two of two. And it'll start off with this. Also, if you want to find these spreadsheets to go along with it, just go to excelishell.com, and you should see a link to it on the first page.